Why is it so hard to stay fit and lose weight? It's as if the universe is against you, blocking your dreams to have that six pack or perfect waistline. Almost all of us have made goals to drop unwanted pounds and get in shape just to find yourself a few months later looking in the mirror saying nasty things to yourself for failing and gaining even more weight. You know who you are and it's okay, you're not alone. Hey everyone, it's Eileen with the Casper Twins. We've been in your shoes many times over. If you're looking for advice and reaching your goal of shrinking that annoying bulge on your belly, then you're in the right place. We're about to reveal basic exercises that will help you get in shape fast and lose those extra inches around your belly if done correctly. But before we spill the beans, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any videos. Let's get started. First, take a magnifying glass to what you're putting in your mouth. Not literally, of course. How many times have you told yourself you weren't going to cheat until Saturday or Sunday? Saturday and Sunday turns into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and you find yourself Thursday starting all over again. Say goodbye to motivation. Getting back on the wagon is hard. You beat yourself up for failing and feel like giving up, losing interest in the whole thing completely. We know you know what to eat. You know to choose fruits and veggies over packaged snacks. You know to cut back on carbs and eat meals that are high in lean protein like eggs, chicken, fish to boost your metabolism. You drink plenty of water. You may choose gluten-free over carbs, oats instead of sugary cereal. You don't eat midnight snacks and eat red meat sparingly. You know that you're supposed to minimize the amount of sugar you eat and choose honey and natural low calorie sweeteners. You may have a diet plan printed and posted on your fridge. You try to eat veggies every day, add fiber to your diet and minimize intake of dairy. Yes, we know you know. You've heard it all before. So why do we continuously find ourselves in the same place or worse, and even larger bellies weeks and months later? It's all in the mind. Have you heard of subconscious wiring? We can go into details about studies that have shown just how powerful the subconscious is. It's 95% of all your thoughts and automatically takes action that your conscious mind did not even give the time of day, like grabbing a sugary snack to soothe the craving. But today, we're going to get right into it before you get bored with statistics and grab some ice cream. Let's briefly talk about three common oopsies that make us fail. The first oopsie is you feel the sensation in your belly that you need to eat. You're not totally sure that you're hungry, but you eat anyway because a sensation must mean hunger, so it needs attention. Oopsie number two, it's 3 p.m. in the afternoon and you feel like you need to eat something. Did you know that 70% of adults are dehydrated, which can easily be confused with hunger? Dehydration can mask itself as hunger, particularly sugar cravings. Instead, first sip water or tea when that sensation in your belly starts. Drinking water actually helps you burn more calories. Think of water as oil in a car. Without it, it doesn't run properly and can even break down. Your body is the same with water. Drinking water helps your body run more efficiently. Just do the math. Drinking 10 cold glasses of water a day for one week burns 490 calories. That's equivalent to losing seven pounds in a year. Oopsie number three is about stress. Who's not stressed? Being stressed over long periods of time though can increase the output of the stress hormone cortisol. We feel more hungry when we're stressed because cortisol triggers glucose, which triggers the hormone leptin. This hormone is affectionately called the hunger hormone intentionally take a close look at how you can reduce stress. You have permission to say no. Oopsie number four, you finished your plate. We were raised in an era of finish your plate. There are starving children in Ethiopia. As true as that might be, we're not saving any lives finishing our plate. What about eating while watching TV? You can't possibly be thinking sensibly by stopping when you're full if your mind is distracted. It takes 20 minutes from the time you take your first bite for your brain to send out a message that you're full. Mindful eating allows you to focus and pay attention to the signals from your brain that you have had enough to eat. If you slow down, chew each bite fully, some may call this with intention, and pay closer attention to your body, you will eat less. Utsi number five. You go to bed too late. Lack of sleep will stress your body and trigger hormones like leptin and ghrelin. Remember those pesky hunger hormones? Try making a set time to go to bed and turn on sleep hypnosis to relax your body and soothe you into a restful slumber. Let's move to number two. Get your body moving. We know that you're busy. You have kids to take to school. You gotta get yourself to work. You run the house. You help the neighbors. You talk to your friends. You binge watch Lucifer. You get where I'm going with this? 
There is time somewhere in there. We know that you can find 30 minutes a day to squeeze in some sort of movement. Movement gets your metabolism going, which means more fat burning. Exercise also releases norepinephrine, the chemical that helps brain control stress. Remember we just talked about the side effects of stress, so it's one way that you can reduce stress levels. Exercise also releases chemicals that make you feel happier and more energetic. Increased productivity, anyone? Besides, 30 minutes of workout a day can mean the difference between self-pity and self-confidence. And that, my friends, is the good stuff. Here are some practical ideas for adding movement into your day. Many gyms now have online classes that you can do at home as a part of your membership package. If you don't have time to go to the gym, there still is no excuse. Plus, when you start to become more confident, you already have a membership and might try going to a Saturday morning spin class. Just get walking. You won't believe what happens to your figure just by walking. We couldn't either, so watch out for the video that we did that details how. Do a 30 minute full body circuit routine. They don't require any weights. You just use your body as weight and do repetitive motions to burn fat and build muscle. Swimming is a great low impact cardiovascular exercise that burns fat and gets the heart pumping. Running burns two and a half times more calories than walking. Running can be hard on the body, especially the older we get. So for those of us who can't run, walking is a great low impact alternative. Now that you've added more exercise to your routine to eradicate that belly fat, we're ready to go to number three. Work those abs. If you want a flat, strong front, you need to strengthen the muscles. Abs are used very little throughout the day since most of us stand or sit for long periods of time for work. Let's suck in that gut with a few of the following ab buster tips. Hold a plank. Holding your body stiff strengthens the core as well as your shoulders, arms, and glutes. There are three ways to plank, which increases the intensity the stronger you get. On your knees and hands, which is great for beginners, on your elbows and feet, or your hands and feet, which is the most difficult of the three. Place forearms on the floor with elbows aligned below shoulders and arms parallel to your body at about shoulder width. Keep your tush tucked in, not sticking up like a pyramid. Everything should be flat from your head to your feet. Start with 30 second increments and work your way up to two minutes. When you're ready to step it up a notch, add in some crunches and leg raises. Start with three reps of 10 each day and work your way up to three sets of 50. Proper crunches should be flat on your back with knees bent and feet flat on the ground. Cross your arms in front of you and lift your upper torso and head. Use smooth controlled motions to work your ab muscles more efficiently. Once your shoulder blades have left the ground, you have lifted too far. Leg races are also on your back. Lay your arms and palms flat next to the floor by your sides. Lift both legs together, keeping your lower back flat on the ground. This is the most difficult part. Raise your legs to a 90 degree angle and slowly lower. Do two to three reps of 10 each several times a week. Increase the reps as you increase in strength. Now that you've been doing steps one through three with consistency, you're ready to graduate to number four. If you've gotten this far, we congratulate you. Most people don't. For number four, we're going to ask you a question and we want you to be really honest with yourself. How much alcohol are you drinking in a day? Did you stutter or ahem, lie to your doctor the last time they asked you that question? The average American drinks 10 to 11 drinks per week, so you're not alone. Here's a few things to consider. Drinking alcohol can actually cause weight gain. Your body uses alcohol as the main source of energy rather than glucose. Glucose is the main type of sugar in the blood and our main source of energy and ends up in our fat tissue if not used. Excess alcohol can lead to a fatty liver. The liver helps metabolize fats, carbohydrates, and proteins, so if the liver is compromised, it makes it very difficult to shed pounds. Alcohol also contributes to belly fat. Extra calories are stored as fat, and alcohol is high in sugar and calories. We don't get to choose where the fat goes, but the body tends to accumulate fat in the belly area. Alcohol also impairs digestion and absorption of nutrients by decreasing digestive secretions and slowing metabolism. Your body can't store alcohol, so it must metabolize it right away. On average, one drink stays in your system for an hour, so that Friday night binger that continues on Saturday wreaks havoc on your goals. If you're interested in discovering more about how to lose weight and keep it off forever without 
impossible diets that you can't sustain and exhausting exercise that doesn't motivate you, then be sure to check out our Ideal Weight Forever quest at thecaspertwins.com or click on the link in the description. Please help us support you by publishing more videos to help you live your best life by subscribing and turning on notifications. Don't miss our videos that will help you along your journey to the best health of your life. We can't wait to see you in the next video and take care.